Welcome to my next time tutorial. This tutorial will be on teleportation, hurt, heal, strip player weapons, and spawning with weapons. So you just load up your map that you want. I'm going to create a TNCT spawn. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the teleport. So to do teleport, you want to browse for trigger in your entities. I mean in your in your uh, textures. Browse for trigger. And then create a brush. And wherever this brush is is where they will teleport. So if they walk in here, they'll teleport to the next destination. So then press control T on it, make it an entity and you want to type in trigger teleport. <laughs> then you want to create a info teleport destination. And you'll get this player model. And what this player model does is he is exactly where the player will be teleported to. That's what he represents. So we'll put him over on the other side here. You want to raise him out of the ground just a little bit to make sure that he doesn't get stuck in there. And then you have to name it. Name it Telly Dust. And then you select Remote Destination. You can use the eyedropper tool or you can type it in and you just select the info player uh, teleport destination. Click Apply and OK. And that's it for that. I'm going to apply detail here so I know what it is. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a hurt. And whenever they, what this does is whenever they walk into this area, they will get hurt and they'll lose life. So again, create a brush where you want it to be. Press Control T and then do trigger hurt. Pretty simple. You can choose your damage type generic crush bullet whatever generic pretty much works fine and then the damage is for some reason with stock settings the damage is cut in half so if you have 10 it will do 5 damage if you have 20 it'll do 10 damage so basically just choose the amount of damage you want to do and double it so if you want to do 25 damage you need to double that so it's 50 so I'll do 25 damage a second and now if you copy your trigger hurt you can do it like I just did if you hold down shift and move the entity. You have the trigger hurt again. And under damage to heal him, you just put a minus in front. So now it's minus 50, which will heal them 25 every second that they're in this brush. I'm going to apply another detail so I know which one is what. Alright, and last thing we're going to do is strip players' weapons. And this is pretty much only used for death runs and jailbreak or minigame, you know, if you want them to not spawn with a weapon. So create an entity, and then you want to name this Game Player Equipped. Now, with that just in there, it will make them spawn with nothing. They'll be they'll have the spectator crosshair and they'll look exactly like that in game. They won't have any animations. But you want to give them a knife because everybody should have a knife. So you press you bring up the options on this entity and you want to uncheck smart edit. And then you want to click add. And then this is where you choose your weapon. Weapon underscore knife. And then value one. Hit OK. Add and then you can close that out. If you turn Smart Edit back on, it won't show up, but it will. It'll still be there under Smart Edit. Now, what this does is that will give it for all players. Now, if you want a player to spawn with just one, like if you want just the CTs to spawn with, let's say Deagles, you kind of have to do this a different way. Um, here's the best way that I know how create an entity, weapon, Deagle, and you create all the guns, and you want to name them Spawn underscore guns and then you want to place it right underneath 
the player model. And we'll also have him spawn with an M4. So if you just shift to drag, he'll, it'll keep the name and then you can change whatever it is. But let's say you have two counter-terrorist spawns. Now you have two counter-terrorist spawns, but only you, if you only have one CT, you don't want that gun laying there on the ground. It looks tacky. So you create another entity, and you want this one to be a logic auto. You'll get this little this little box with an arrow on it. It says logic auto under it. And you want to go to outputs, add, on map spawn, target entities, spawn guns. You want to kill the spawn guns after two seconds. So they'll spawn, and before anyone even notices, the guns will pretty much disappear because they've all the people who have spawned with them have already picked them up, so it's no harm, no foul. Now, if you want them to have a weapon, but let's say it's a, it's a map where you don't want them to have weapons at a certain point, what you can do is you can have the weapons be stripped from them. So what you do here is you create an entity, a trigger actually, where you want the weapon to be stripped. And then press Control T on it and make it a trigger multiple. And now you want to create an entity next to it and name this a player underscore weapon strip. Very important that you spell that correctly. And then you can delete everything that's in the key values. You won't have Smart Edit. This isn't a normal entity, so you have to kind of do this old school and then you want to click add and type in target name and I usually just name mine strip and now that'll show up the target name is actually the smart edits way for name like if we put a name under here as multi the smart edit on it shows up as name multi but with it off it's target name multi so that's all target name is so now you want to click add on start touch strip you want to select your player weapon strip and then via this input you want strip it will show up as red because it's not a legitimate command but it does work and now we'll compile and it will work in counter strike then all right now we're in counter strike we'll load up our map i'll join a terrorist and i should only have a knife I only have a knife, and those M4s are gone there because we stripped them after two seconds of gameplay. If I walk in here and just strip my knife, I have no knife now. And if I go to third person, you'll see that I have no animations running on my model right now because it's kind of a glitch. So you don't want to do this very often if you care for high map looks. So usually you just want to strip them, and then you want to give them a knife so it, it makes it look better and then if we go over here it will teleport me to that corner there boom here I am one more time and when you walk in it will tell it'll make you face the direction that you were when you walked in it come over to the hurt over here I'm taking 25 damage a second and this one will heal me at 25 damage a second so minus number heals positive number hurts and if I join a counter-terrorist, I'll spawn with the M4. It won't auto-pop up, but I'll have it. See? And the other ones are gone. And everyone goes on with their map. Like, it was perfect. I hope this tutorial helps you. Uh, keep